it is 2019 and yes there are still 372 Guerlain perfumes in the Fragrantica database and only one of them just one gives us that delicious cacao and patchouli combo so let's talk about it let's go yes welcome back and happy new year to everyone right now we're gonna be covering something from the house of Guerlain and this one is called Lenstan de Guerlain Pour Homme ou Extreme or as fancily called by its fans Ledge so let's take a look at the bottle so what we have now is the vintage Ledge bottle yes and I don't have the box for this what I have is a tester box so right now as you can see the front let's focus this a little there you go you can see the print you can practically feel it that's for the front smooth everything is smooth in the front this is the black rim that everyone is talking about and we got the sides here for the sides Nothing going on, smooth all over. Same with the other side. As for the cap, you can see that at the front, nothing else. Just scratches maybe. And the sides of the cap, nothing as well. Back of the cap, nothing as well. And here you could see some details. That's the ribbing that you could practically feel. And yeah, that's about it for the bottom. Let's see. You can see the batch code, concentration, and the size. By the way, the biggest one that you could have this is 75 ml. So yeah, there you go. The information, batch code, and ingredients. Oh, not really ingredients. And let's look at the cap or the cap. You can see the insignia. Nothing. On the inside of the cap, nothing special. This is what a cap looks like. And it clicks into place. But I do not advise you to pick up the bottle using just the cap itself. Now this one opens up immediately the blast of cacao, anise, and in the later stages the creamy sandalwood will be joining that delicious cacao and anise note. Don't worry, the anise in this is not really, shall I say, prominent. It just stays in the background to give this a more mature character, per se. So yeah, that's ledge for you. Initial spray, you'll get the patchouli, you'll get the cacao, and at the later base or later mid, you would get the creamy sandalwood. Which makes the whole composition really, really milky, edible, and delicious. So, yeah, there's ledge for you. Now, after seeing the bottle and knowing typically what it smells like, I'm gonna be giving you five reasons why you need to have ledge in your arsenal. First one is quality. Now, this one, ledge, it really smells upscale really classy plus it doesn't smell like any designer fragrances that you might see in your local mall this one smells really niche so the girl and quality definitely there reason number two this is a top gourmand contender what do i mean by that quality wise scent wise performance there's not a lot of them that could beat ledge Cacao and patchouli combo. Mm, I hear others saying that uh, Nasomato's Pardon is roughly of the same vibe, but I disagree with that. Um, at the beginning, yes, they have some resemblance, but the oud carries through until the base for Pardon. It doesn't give you straight up patchouli and cacao. So I don't think Pardon could measure up with ledge in terms of being a gourmand scent so there's that next one i see also in fragrance forums uh, cocorico 
even in Fragrantica. They say Cocorico smells like Lidge because of the cacao and the patchouli note that's in there. Um, again, I disagree because Cocorico has this very dominant green fig note. That fig note in Cocorico is just preventing the whole composition from being straight up suave patchouli and cacao. So, I don't know, the fig could throw some people off. Same with the oud with Nazamaro's pardon. Um, it does not carry that same smoothness that Lynch has with its patchouli, cacao, and sandalwood combination. Another one that uh, pops into mind is Tempo. Um, Tempo, the only similarities that I see with Tempo and Lidge is the patchouli note. And that's it. No cacao whatsoever. I don't detect no sandalwood, so... I don't see any other competitions with regards to the cacao and patchouli combo that Lidge brings us. Number four is the performance performs really really well off of my skin longevity of 12 hours huge projection in the first four hours you could definitely fill up a small room with just spraying two here and two on your shoulders and that's it performance longevity siage you got everything what else do you want and finally this one this this is a collector's piece Legendary status, I don't need to say more about this. This one is really a collectible among enthusiasts. Which brings me to my first con, Lidge is really hard to find. Well, I've tried scouring eBay and other online selling sites and I barely managed to find two. Just two of them. One. Um, in eBay, another one in a local selling site, so there's not much lidge floating around the internet. Which brings me to my second con. In any event that you have seen lidge online, I bet you, what would concern you is the price. $160 minimum. Um, I don't know if you're willing to shell out that much. The highest that I've seen is $250. Again, in eBay. But... If, if money is not an issue to you, I think Lidge is worth every penny. And third con. To some people, this might smell like, um, smell a little dated, or shall I say, it could smell a little mature, which limits its um, use in your fragrance wardrobe. I think you could only use Lidge in those very upscale social situations. You know, um, graduations, award ceremonies, um, weddings, black tie events, cocktail parties. You can't use the lidge in your just walking your dog or just going to your mall, partying at your friend's house, uh, just going to a local restaurant. I wouldn't advise using the lidge. It's, I'd say it's too much. It's overkill to use Lidge in those uh, casual, very casual situations and it just limits its usability to this really formal events. So in conclusion, I would recommend you to purchase Lidge. Some people might ask, what is the difference between this black rim and this clear rim? Well to be honest, performance, there's no noticeable differences. The only differences is that the clear rim once has just more citrus on the top but basically the mid notes and the base notes practically the same projection longevity it's practically the same i don't know with the clear listerine bottles though so yeah those are just all my recommendations opinions and suggestions and at the end of the day yes you do you this has been your host alex and thank you i will see you in the next video